It's my latest DIY project. Call it Arduino Plant Keeper with microcontroller 80Tiny85 in a wooden case and all electronics place it between two plexiglasses. Hello Hectubers and welcome back to my channel and to my latest project. Let's start. Couple of weeks ago I started this project with drawing in my notebook a plan how I will build I will build it and let me explain that this project is a plant keeper. Yes, it's a plant keeper or moisture level meter controlled by Arduino or the microcontroller call it 80 tiny 85. That is a very small chip that can be programmed with the code. I start my experiments on my proto board that is made by me. You can see that in the middle of this proto board is the micro chip called 80 tiny 85 and I'm using three LEDs to indi indicate the level moisture of the soil. First I build this small wooden frame out of one piece and with my soldering iron I draw some words like 80 tiny 85 and Arduino plant keeper. Next I'm gonna use two pieces of plexiglass, one at front and one from back and, the, and those will be tied with uh, metal screws. Next I'm using as a battery a super capacitors, two of them connected in parallel. Each capacitor is 10 farads, 2.7 volts, but together will give 2.7 volts, 20 farads for more capacity. Two solar cells or from both sides because I need to collect sun energy from both sides. Next is that I built is the microcontroller with the with three LEDs fixed on the on the case and also the other electronic components that I'm gonna explain in my schematic. And the last thing is the probes that are from stainless steel. You need to use stainless steel because the water will make corrosion on the ordinary steel. You need to use stainless steel. Remember that. I begin with building the project with adding first the super capacitor and fix them with this small solid copper wire and next I add the solar cells, double side solar cells and also fix them with a copper, solid copper wire so everything will be tight and I'm not using any super glue or hot glue in this project. As you can see so far I have added the super capacitors and the solar panel and also on the side there is a reset push button that need to be connected with these two wires on the main chip and now I'm gonna place the chip inside make the all soldering wires at and at end I'm gonna add the probes at the bottom of the the case and we get something like this to mention that this device it will work with rechargeable energy coming from the sun through the solar panels and to the battery in this case um, as a battery I'm um, using a super capacitor okay I'm almost finished. Just need to attach these two wires 
for the probes one of these is the positive and the ground this positive wire for probes goes on the pin number 7 on the IT tiny 85 okay and with metal screws I'm gonna attach these wires on the probes and in the same time I'm gonna fix the the probes like this okay the probes are attached and connected with the microcontroller and the last thing so this can project be, be finished is adding the front plexi panel and I am done and I'm gonna explain how it works the schematic and all that stuff and try it of course It's finished and I am so amazed how it turned out with the wooden frame with burned details with the two side solar panel the super capacitors the microcontroller and as you can see it's working it's blinking but what does it mean the red blinking LED means that there is a dry soil because it's not in the plant we have the yellow LED meaning me medium soil and the green LED will indicate wet soil of the plant that is everything okay but why is blinking every 8 seconds it blinks the state of the soil to indicate the moisture of the soil because every 8 seconds is going to slip mode yes to save energy the microcontroller 80 tiny 85 goes to the slip mode and every 8 seconds it blinks the LED to indicate the moisture of the soil that way this gadget will work for a long time with one charge but every day through the sun and through the solar panels the supercapacitor will be charged and give electricity to the microcontroller that is a nice feature and from the side to mention that I have reset button if something goes wrong Alright, to mention that the both plexi glass pieces are tied with four metal screws from the both sides and give that steampunk look with the wood, with the copper wires, with transparency. I like it. And maybe this is one of my best looking projects okay now let's explain the, the circuit diagram okay let me explain the schematic the first part is the solar panel together with the super capacitor that will act as a battery solar panel is charging the super capacitor through one Schottky diode this one we have positive and negative from here go to the positive and negative terminals of the microcontroller so we can give the power and to 80 tiny to start working I'm using four resistors three are three are for the LEDs and the fourth is for the probe sensor which is 56 kilo ohm 
right here we have the push button switch so we can reset the microcontroller we have only one electrolytic capacitor of 47 microfarads it's connected right here on pin number 7 and here we have the all electronic ele elements used in this circuit you can see that take a screenshot so you can build your own but remember this is 80 tiny 85 microcontroller that need to be programmed with the code the code you can't download it below why i'm gonna explain right now i decided if you want to build this super cool project for plants you will need to write the code by hand so here it is if you want to use it you need to make a couple of screenshots on your phone or computer this is the first and here it is the second and this is the third screenshot okay now after explaining everything how to to make it what parts I have used the schematic and the code it's time to test this device or gadget okay as you can see the Arduino plan keeper gadget is blinking red light meaning that the soil is dry but it's not put in the soil of the plant now I'm gonna place it and see the soil is wet and will indicate with green blinking LED working great and in the same time we'll charge the super capacitor through the solar panel working 24 hours and for every 8 seconds will indicate with blinking a LED in meanwhile it will go to sleep wake up check the soil and indicate through the LEDs great gadget I like it I'm so happy how this project turned out and it's working very well and it's useful that was all for today video thank you for watching please give a like for the project share the video and subscribe to my channel